In this video, we'll be discussing another convergence test called the root test. So one thing that I want to note before I list the different conditions for this test, um, we have a little bit of different notation that we might see. Um, I can talk about the nth root of something. Okay, that means um, we're going to see some ands in absolute value here um, with an nth root outside of this root symbol. This also is the same thing as saying the absolute value of an raised to the 1 over n power. Okay, it might help to think about the root in this second way as well. Okay, so what does this test say? This test says that if the limit as n goes to infinity of the nth root of the absolute value of our terms, if that's equal to some limit value that's less than 1, then the sum of a n is absolutely convergent. So this is similar to our ratio test, but instead of looking at the limit of the ratio of the terms, we're looking at this limit of the nth root of the terms. If on the other hand our limit as n goes to infinity of the nth root of the absolute value of the terms equals a limit value that's bigger than 1, or infinity, okay, so it could be some just really big regular number or it could come out to be infinity, then the sum of a n diverges. Okay, and just like the ratio test, okay, it could come out that this limit is 1, and in that case the test would be inconclusive. So if the limit as n goes to infinity of the mth root of the absolute value of the terms is equal to 1, the test is inconclusive, which means we have to use another test. Okay, so we just want to make two notes about our um, root test, then we'll look at one example. So two things to note about our root test. If the ratio test is inconclusive, meaning you get 1 for that limit, the root test will also be inconclusive and vice versa. Okay, so if you get one for your um, ratio test, don't think, oh, I'll try the root test. If one fails, the other one will fail. Okay, meaning that the root test is also not um, a good test to use on p-series type infinite series. Okay, the other note that's the same as the ratio test is that we can't have a series be, a series can't be conditionally convergent by the root test. Okay, the only conclusions when you're using the root test, if the root test actually applies, are that the series converges absolutely or that, that it diverges. Okay, so let's just look at one example here, the kind of thing where a root test might be useful. I want to determine if the following series converges conditionally, absolutely, or diverges. I have a sum from n equals 1 to infinity of n squared plus 1 over 2n squared plus 1 to the 2n. Okay, so types where you'll want to think about using the root test are where I have some kind of term here raised to like an n power, because the 1 over n root that I'll be taking will undo part of that power. Okay, so we want to try the root test here. So I'm going to be looking at the limit as n goes to infinity of the nth root of my... Um, nth term here. So that's going to be the limit as n goes to infinity of n squared plus 1 over 2n squared plus 1. Okay, to the 2n, that's all a n. And then I'm going to want to do this to the 1 over n power. Okay, notice that in fact my terms here are all positive, so the absolute value would be the same thing as the, the terms themselves. Okay. I'm also going to have here a power raised to a power. Remember with exponent rules, when we do a power to a power, we multiply them. So that'll become 2n times 1 over n, or just 2. Okay, so this will end up being n squared plus 1 over 2n squared plus 1 squared. Okay, so how can I simplify this? 
so that I can take the limit more easily. So there's a couple of things we could do. Um, I can think about my technique for working with sequences where I, uh, limits of sequences where I had a composition of functions. So I have some functions squared here and then I have this inside function. So I could think about finding the limit of this inside thing and then squaring that value. I could also look at dividing by the highest power of n squared within my fraction here. So I'll just show what that looks like. So if I divide n squared plus one, each by n squared, that's one plus one over n squared. Divide the denominator here each by n squared, that's two plus one over n squared. And this is all raised to the second power there. So notice that one over n squared here are both going to zero. So this will be one half squared, which is one fourth. Okay, so we're getting an L value of one fourth. And we notice that that is less than one. So I specifically highlight that I got a value that's smaller than one here. So I can say, so the series oops, converges absolutely by the uh, root test. Okay, so let me know if you have any questions on this material.